Welcome to AgriKnowledge Hub, your home of practical, powerful and nature-inspired gardening wisdom. Here we explore everything that makes soil come alive, from composting secrets to natural fertilizers to modern science-backed methods that turn your garden into a paradise of productivity. If you've subscribed, thank you. You are the heartbeat of this green community. And if you're new here, welcome home. You've just found the channel that speaks your language, the language of growth, nature and abundance. So take a deep breath, grab a seat and let's dive into today's fascinating topic, how to feed your worms properly. When we talk about soil health, we often think of fertilizers, compost or mulch. But deep beneath the surface, a quiet army is working tirelessly, the humble earthworm. These little engineers transform food waste into black gold, vermicompost. It's rich, soft and packed with nutrients that plants absolutely love. But just like us, worms need a balanced diet to stay healthy and productive. Feed them the wrong thing and your worm bin can quickly turn sour. Feed them the right way and they'll reward you with nature's finest fertilizer. So how do we do it right? Imagine the worm bin as a miniature farm ecosystem. Everything you put in affects their environment. Worms thrive on soft, decaying organic matter. Their favorites include fruit scraps like banana peels, apple cores and mango skins, vegetable peels from carrots, cucumbers, pumpkins and leafy greens, crushed eggshells for calcium, coffee grounds and tea leaves for texture and minerals, old bread or rice in small amounts, shredded cardboard, paper or dry leaves to balance moisture and carbon. Every handful you feed is like a meal to a thousand silent workers. The secret is balance. Not too wet, not too dry. Too much fresh food creates odour and attracts pests. Too little means your worms go hungry and production slows. Even in nature, not all that glitters is compostable. Some foods can harm or kill worms. Avoid onions, garlic or citrus. Too acidic, meat, fish or dairy. They rot fast and attract flies. Oily or spicy foods, they suffocate the worms. Processed foods and sugary snacks, unnatural and mould-inducing. Large chunks of food waste, always chop or shred before adding. Think of your worm bin like a delicate kitchen. You wouldn't pour boiling oil on a salad, and you shouldn't dump harsh waste on your worms. To maintain balance, use this simple feeding ratio chart. Feed once or twice a week. Adjust based on how fast your worms consume. If you notice uneaten food after a week, reduce the amount. If the bin looks empty, time for another meal. Even worms appreciate a good boost. You can enhance worm activity and compost quality with these organic worm boosters. Mix two tablespoons of molasses in one liter of water. Sprinkle lightly over the bin once every two weeks. This feeds beneficial microbes that help worms digest faster. Soak three banana peels in two liters of water for 24 hours. Strain and pour lightly over the bin or garden soil. Excellent for flower and fruit formation. Add a handful once a month. Keeps ants and mites away without harming the worms. These gentle natural boosters not only nourish your worms, they create a thriving micro-ecosystem inside the bin. Your compost becomes richer, darker and teeming with microbial life. Now what about modern farming techniques? Many gardeners today combine vermicompost with chemical fertilizers to achieve precision results, particularly in large-scale farms or commercial gardens. Here's how you can blend both worlds safely.
This approach allows the organic microbes from vermi tea to support plant roots, while modern fertilizers deliver immediate nutrients. It's a perfect harmony of nature and science. Keep your eyes and nose open. A healthy bin should smell earthy and fresh, not sour or rotten. Worms should appear plump, active and shiny. The compost should look dark brown, crumbly and moist like chocolate cake. If you ever notice a foul smell, too much liquid or worms crawling to the surface, it's a sign to reduce feeding or add more dry matter. When you feed your worms properly, you're not just making compost, you're building an ecosystem. You're transforming waste into life. You're creating soil that holds water, breathes air, and grows food that truly nourishes. That's the magic of vermiculture, the art and science of feeding life from what we once called waste. Thank you for watching this episode of Agri Knowledge Hub. If you've learned something new today, please hit the like button. It helps this community grow. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's the easiest way to get notified whenever a new video drops full of fresh, practical gardening wisdom. Share this video with your friends and family, and together, let's grow the Agri Knowledge Home. I'll be thrilled to see you in the comments. Let me know how your worm bins are doing, what you feed them, and what results you've seen. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning, and remember, nature always rewards those who nurture it.